Welcome to the Desert Sailor. We're Lake Mead sailing enthusiasts who want to share our passion for the sometimes wild and often serene personality of this fickle desert oasis. We're based out of the Lake Mead Marina and hope to share with you our experiences discovering the many coves, marinas, and destinations this unique sailing experience has to offer. So hop aboard. Let's go sailing in the desert. Hello, it's Captain Naomi. Welcome to another episode of the Desert Sailor. And today we finally have wind. Woo! -hoo! Today we're going to be using the 100. It might be a little overkill in terms of a uh, small sail, but just in case the gusts are really strong, we're going to do that. So today we're heading to a cove called Sidewinder. Ah, Jake just asked, where is that? Well, it's right here. Yep, there are white caps out there. coming from the east and uh, we have a ton of white caps so we have reef down on the main and we're using 100 on the front. Um, the usual thing that happens with sailing, especially with older boats. So uh, the guide for the jib started traveling with the jib as I was raising it and it was getting jammed over and over again so I just aborted that idea. The reason why I aborted that mission and thought maybe I'd try later is because I wasn't wearing my life jacket. Which is so surprising for me. I always wear my life jacket, especially when I go forward. And uh, we're still making five knots on just the main. And so we thought it was a good time and um, perfect weather for a beverage. <laughs> Boulder Canyon. 
and to make sure that you stay at the north side of those islands. Um, as we come into the Boulder Canyon, the wind has died a bit and we saw the weather vane go 360 one way, <laughs> 180 the other way, 360 the other way, but we're still getting puffs. So we never did race the jib. We were making enough speed on just the main and we were very comfortable. So we share this boat with a few other people and um, you know, I just wanted to make a point that things aren't perfect on boats, but you can still go sailing. And you shouldn't find excuses. Oh, I have to fix this, I have to fix that. If it's safe and it holds, then it can work. Now in this case, I think it was just because I had my jib um, out way too aft and so it was pulling too much pressure. Otherwise, this little contraption here works just fine. And um, one day we'll make it pretty. But don't make excuses, just get out there and sail. Doesn't matter if it's pretty or not. to find the entrance to Sidewinder Cove because everything looks the same and our GPS on our boat isn't super accurate accurate and who knows if this coordinate that I got from Google is even accurate so we ended up going into this little cove and something Canyon Point Cove pretty but <laughs> the wrong one <laughs> so we came back out and we kept going. I did notice this 14 marker. So that's a good marker to look out for. And it's just the first major cove right after that. But still with the lowering levels of the water, we could not get that far into the cove because it was getting really shallow and very narrow. So we decided to go to a poop dock. And we knew there was one somewhere near uh, the entrance of Boulder Canyon, back where we came from. So that was Sidewinder Cove. Just because of the wind, we want to... <laughs> we want to be on one of those poop docks. Today we have a salad. I'm gonna make cucumber potato salad. Oh, excellent. Ice. Okay, this is a really good flash. So, Rufus Cove. This is a much bigger cove with lots of little hiding places for boats with maybe not as big a keel as ours, but we like these pump houses and maybe this entire series will be <laughs> pump house poop dock <laughs> tour. Because <laughs> we've seen the one at Hideaway Cove and now at Rufus Cove. Okay, so we kept seeing all these boats come out of this area at the back there and we wanted to go exploring but it's extremely shallow do not pass on that left hand side between that island and that mountain because you will run aground I think even if you're canoe you'll run aground that was the edge of Rufus Cove and our depth sounder read 5.6 feet and uh, the keel didn't hit so that's good but just be aware that there is extremely shallow water 